Hello everybody and welcome to my 102nd VBA 2010 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how you can protect your add-ins. Uh, so when we go into our Visual Basic editor now that I've got my add-in ticked, you'll notice that my add-in is showing in this section up here. Um, and anyone who knows what they're doing can just go in here, click on this, and they can mess around with your add-in. Um, and although some of the time you you will want people to be able to do that, um, in quite a lot of the time you don't want people messing around with this information. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to protect the 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 workbook. So before I've created this add-in, so first of all let's just get rid of that add-in. So let's go to add-ins, get rid of that one, press OK. Uh, and you'll notice it's gone from our editor. Uh, and we're going to recreate it in here. Um, so I'm going to go, first of all, uh, I'm going to teach you something else quickly, which is just go to debug and then compile. Uh, what this does is it just compiles it beforehand, uh, and just make sure that you're not going to have errors and uh, things like that. So always do that before you save your... Um, before you save your... Uh, file for add-ins uh, and then uh, what we want to do is just right click on your project up here go to VBA project properties uh, and we're going to first of all give it a name so I'm going to call this project uh, reverse add-in uh, and press OK and then you'll notice up here that it's giving it a proper name now up here which uh, is useful uh, and then let's go back into our properties and go to protection we want to press lock projects for viewing and then we want to put in a password down here so I'm just going to put the password as password and you've got to put it twice press OK uh, and then now if we save this down, so let's go to file, save as. First of all, I'm going to save it as a VBS file uh, just to make sure I've got a copy of it, which is a good thing to practice doing. Uh, and then I'm going to save it as an add-in, so Excel add-in. And then this is going to be reverse add in protected press save uh, and then now when we go into uh, our add-in screen uh, not our visual basic editor and let's come out of this one first we don't want to be doing it in our same workbook so let's just create ourselves a new one so blank workbook uh, and then in add-ins and we want to go to browse and we want to add in this reverse add-in protected uh, so let's click on that and tick on it and so we've got our reverse function so we can put something in here and then we can use our reverse to um, equals reverse apparently I can't type reverse now uh, and it's still going to let us use it, but when we go into our Visual Basic Editor, uh, what you'll notice is that this is closed down, and if I try and click on it, it's going to prompt me for that password. So even though they can still use all the code in it, they can't actually look at it or change it um, without providing the password. And you can do this with your normal Excel files as well. So if we try and open up now our tutorial number 102, and we go into our Visual Basic Editor, then we can't open up the in tutorial number two either. Um, and so that is how you password protect your VBA projects. Um, and then also make your add-ins a little bit more secure. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can um, start working with the worksheets in your add-ins, etc. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.